President Kamala Harris could now be hours away from announcing her running mate. But this afternoon, her focus is on recent developments in the Middle East as she sat down with President Joe Biden at the White House. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House with much more for us. Ben. Well, Nicole, the White House does not want to widen the war in the Middle East. It really was the focus of today's talks, and it comes as Israel braces for a possible attack by Iran. President Joe Biden returned to the White House Monday, first up a meeting with his national security team to discuss tension in the Middle East, with Iran vowing to take revenge against Israel. After the assassination of a Hamas political leader last week, the State Department calling it a critical moment in the region. And it is important that all parties take steps over the coming days to refrain from escalation and calm tensions. Escalation is in no one's interest. Vice President Kamala Harris also attended today's talks in the Situation Room. The presumptive Democratic nominee heads into a crucial week that includes a critical decision. The name of her running mate expected to be announced tomorrow ahead of a rally in Philadelphia on Tuesday. Over the weekend, it is reported Harris met with top contenders, which include Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. A series of campaign events are planned with her yet-to-be-announced VP pick that includes seven states in five days, with stops in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, and in Wisconsin. Recent polls show a tight race between Harris and Trump, who on Saturday, alongside his running mate Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, campaigned in Atlanta, where he took aim at his Democratic rival. No, she's not wonderful. So we have to work hard to define her. We, I, I don't want to even define her. I just want to say who she is. She's a horror show. She'll destroy our country. And again, Harris is now in those final stages of her decision, who she thinks can help her win come November. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.